next guest this evening is an Emmy-nominated actor, producer, director, and now game show host. She controls the whammies on Pressure Luck. Season three premieres Wednesday here on ABC. Please say hello to Elizabeth Banks. Hello, Elizabeth Banks. How are you? I'm great. Hi, Jimmy. It's good to see you. Where are you right now? Uh, I'm in beautiful Hartford, Connecticut, actually. Ah, Hartford, Connecticut. <laughs> and I'm guessing it's not beautiful in Hartford. I've not been there, but... <laughs> you know, I think it's probably not the nicest spot in Connecticut, but they've been very welcoming. I see. I, you're from that area, right? The New England area? I am, I am yeah. I'm from Massachusetts, and uh, this has been a great trip back because while I've been working here, I've been spending my weekends seeing friends and family all over the East Coast, I saw my dad, uh, who I had not seen since the beginning of the global pandemic, and I'm seeing my mom this coming Memorial Day weekend. So it's a uh, oh it's wow, a very heartwarming reunions. Yeah. Wow. How was that seeing your dad after a full year of not seeing him? Uh, I full cried, baby cried the whole time. <laughs> I cried on the car for about the first the ten minutes right before we saw each other. I cried. Uh, and then I cried like a baby in his, my daddy's arms, so let me tell you. I was oh, that's very sweet. Man. Now, do you feel pressure yeah. about crying? You're going to have to cry for mom, too. You know that, I right? Have no, I have no doubt I'll ball my eyes up for mom, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so grateful that they made it through, you know? It's been yeah. a really crazy hard year for everybody, so. Sure, um, yeah. Well, yeah, you, I'm really and what grateful. about your own family, your husband and your kids? Are, you, are they there with you, or are they back still here in L.A.? Um, mommy's having some alone time, Jimmy. Okay. So, um, <laughs> it was a long, it was a long pandemic <laughs> with a lot of remote school. Uh, no, my <laughs> kids were in remote school for so long. And right when I got this job, I, we were told they were going back full time and I couldn't take them away from school and their friends and family that right. they'd already missed for so long. So gotcha, my yeah. husband is doing Mr. Mom duty, an amazing job. I couldn't be more grateful to my man, Max, he's holding down the fort back now. I, as I recall, the last time you were on, Max had purchased, what was it, like a huge, like a crate of ramen noodles, is that right? Correct, yes, yes he did. That's and right. for what reason had he purchased that crate of ramen noodles? <laughs> well, like a lot of people in the beginning of COVID, like day three, he panicked, okay. and it was a panic buy, Jimmy. <laughs> he really thought <laughs> there would be nothing left on the shelves and that all we would be able to eat was ramen. Uh, so I'm happy to report that most of the ramen is still in the pantry. Okay. But we did eat we did eat some, some ramen and some cup of noodles. He had a lot of cup of noodles. <laughs> <laughs> That'll probably he last you like till the next emergency. Yeah, right. Uh, you'll have that. Yeah, yeah. Through earthquakes, he, who knows what'll happen. He reverted to, like, college dorm eating, basically. Right, right. Well, it's a good thought, you know? I mean, I, you know, it's just, it's just gross, that's all. <laughs> it's, it's, but it's just add water, and that's what we wanted. <laughs> you know, we were rummaging through your past, and we discovered that around 20 years ago, you were on an episode of Law & Order, uh, I believe SVU. Yes. Uh, this, yes, and this was this is almost like a rite of passage in New York if you were an actor in New York, true? Absolutely. If you were an actor in New York and you didn't get on a law any of the law and orders, you were not you weren't gonna make it. You know, they they had an episode a week ripped from the headlines. They had like 50 million guest stars. You had to get a guest star on that show. And I really luck I lucked out with mine. <laughs> I'm sure you're gonna mention it. Yeah, well, go no, you go ahead. It's your story for sure. <laughs> <laughs> he lucked out. <laughs> so uh, my the character I play on Lord Law and Order SVU Special Victims Unit um, <laughs> with Mariska Hargitay, of course, and Chris Maloney. I played a porn star with a sick kid whose entire life goal was to get in a gangbang so that I could get on the Howard Stern show to make more money and get to Vegas. <laughs> Uh, get yeah. to Vegas. Oh, get to Vegas. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's where the real porn happens, apparently, according <laughs> to this character. I don't know. Well, I grew up in Las Vegas. I saw no porn happening, but um, I'll, t I I'll take your word for it on that. But we do have the clip of that um, very uh, powerful performance, and let's take a look now. Joey, just kneel down behind her, all right? A little more to the left. Good, good, good. What are you doing here? You ruined my shot. Who are you? Police, we need to talk to Jaina. Mommy, can I have quarters for this soda machine? 
machine. Jane, I'm sorry. I tried to get her, but I couldn't stop her. What in the hell is your daughter doing in a porn cell? That's <laughs> uh, so a, a bad situation you were in. <laughs> yeah. I'm honestly, I'm so grateful you didn't freeze frame on the move in the kitchen. But um, yeah, that was my character. Yeah, I'm, that's. I'm wearing a G string, I believe in that. Yeah. Same here. You, um. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth, you, <laughs> I love that the guys, like the guys in the thing, all have like, even though they have no clothes on, we're learning what their jobs are. Like, this one's got a construction helmet on. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, they're like, the, they're the village people of porn, basically, Jimmy. <laughs> Was that the last time you saw your father cry when he, when he saw that on television? <laughs> My parents were very proud. Oh, they were excited. <laughs> was that the first time they saw you on TV? No, I had done, my very first thing I ever did was, it wasn't much better, was an episode of America's Most Wanted in which I played a murder victim who gets run over by a car. And I had a <laughs> stunt routine. <laughs> and the stunt was, so on the day that I shot the stunt, which I'd never, I'd never been on a set of anything in my life. So I went to the, I auditioned and I won the job of murder victim on America's <laughs> Most Wanted. And uh, I had to, how they shot the stunt was I laid over the hood of a car and then I got up and then I walked backwards. And I remember I was eating chips and, um, and then they reverse the tape and play it forward. So it looks like I'm walking forward, eating chips and get run over by a car. So I thought that was it. That'll be, that'll be the whole bit. Then I have a whole viewing party. I was in college at the time. My entire sorority got together to watch the show with me. And uh, they played the show. And there I am walking down the highway, eating my chips. Here comes the car. Vroom, vroom, vroom. It hits me. What they failed to tell me they were going to shoot was they through they put my clothes on like a sex doll dummy no joke and like tossed it in the air and then landed it so it really looked like it hit me and threw me like 20 feet but they just threw a sex doll in my clothes 20 feet <laughs> and landed and it's so funny it's so ridiculous and it still makes me laugh we gotta we'll first. find that one for next and time i made everybody sure. watch i made everybody watch that too well when we come back we're talking about your new show, season three of Press Your Luck. Elizabeth Banks is with us. We'll be right back. Elizabeth Banks is with us. She is the host of Press Your Luck. The game show from the uh, 80s has returned and is now on ABC. And what is that little character? The character is the whammy, the guy, right? Yeah. That That's is right, the yes, the whammy. And the whammy, correct me if I'm wrong, is like a demon, like the devil or something like that <laughs> in cartoon form. Yeah. Yes. That's right. He's a little devil in cartoon form. He takes all of your money and cash and prizes and takes your bank to zero. He's horrible. He's horrible. And that's why everybody says no whammies, because they don't want him around. But maybe if they were more welcoming, he wouldn't take all their money. I don't know. It's just something to think about. I did notice that on this show, the contestants are so excited, like to a point of almost breakdown. You know? <laughs> We have some incredible characters. I mean, every time we, 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 the people that do it, love it. We have a lot of people that watch the show in the eighties. We have a lot of people that um, come back and then we just have people that just, I mean, how exciting to win money. You know, it's, it's, yeah. it truly is pretty exciting and life changing. And also we give away tons of really interesting and wacky prizes. We give away, you know, ice cream machines and flocati rugs cars we gave it like a lot of cars this season it's pretty exciting yeah and the thing though is that you know i've given people things as a host of a show and working yes. on the radio but you almost never get the reaction that you hope for you almost so a lot of times you just get a stunned silence and that's it and you're like hey i just gave you an escalade how about something but on your show, it would appear that they are, you are giving the contestants meth or something backstage because they are out of, absolutely out of their minds. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's, you know, we personalize a lot of the prizes too, Jimmy. So unlike any other game show, ah. we, we do like a deep dive in people's lives. 
we find out what they like and what they're interested in. So when we give them a prize, like they need the prize or they love the prize. Like there are people who love um, Chipotle three times a week. And I'm like, I'm giving you Chipotle plus guac for five years. I see. They lose their mind. <laughs> yeah. So if you find somebody has like a fungal infection, you'll give them like Lamisil or something and then they'll be very happy. You'd be shocked what people want. It's pretty <laughs> incredible, actually. I see. Yeah, that, well, that makes sense. Are we, are, what do you like as far as playing games goes? Are you a, a good sport? No, I'm a terrible loser. You're a bad sport. <laughs> did you, I really like winning. <laughs> did you play sports as a kid? I played softball and a little bit of basketball. I won uh, a most improved basketball trophy when I was 12 years old. Oh. That's about the only thing. That and I won a cheerleading award for being the super psyched cheerleader, which I think just means I had really big teeth and they were, couldn't avoid my smile on top of the pyramid. The award was actually called super psyched cheerleader? <laughs> Super Psych Cheerleader, it's about this big and it's still on a bookshelf in my house. Oh, is that I, right? I literally have two, I only have two trophies from growing up. Most Improved in Basketball and Super Psych Cheerleader. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, it sounds so sad. <laughs> a trophy is a trophy, you know? <laughs> Your husband's like a sports nut, right? He, is, he wrote like a fantasy football book and as I recall. He did, yes. Yeah. He did, but his he, but the love of his life are the Portland Trailblazers. He's from uh -oh. Portland, Oregon. He's a humongous Trailblazers fan. Oh. He recently had a birthday. His birthday was in May. And, you know, we've been together a very long time, as you know, Jimmy, and so it's really hard to come up with things and surprise him. And so this year, I, uh, I slid into the DMs of Damian Lillard, and I asked him if he wouldn't mind just DMing a happy birthday to my husband. And you know what? He tech, he DM'd me back, got you. And he did it. And it's like the sweetest thing. And my husband lost his mind. Wow. <laughs> he was like, he was like, did you do this? What's happening? Did you see this? <laughs> I, was, I was pretty proud of myself. You should be. Say. You really do come up with personalized prize ideas. That's nice, not just on the show. <laughs> The show is Press Your Luck. It premieres Wednesday night, 8 o'clock here on ABC. Elizabeth Banks. Thank you, Elizabeth. We'll be back with Danny Pudi. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, well, you hurt my feelings. <laughs>